Graphic design is the exchange of information in a visual form using text, images, photographs, or a combination of these. Essentially, it's problem solving. It's solving the problem of turning information into an eye-catching and effective design that people will want to read. The more eye-catching the design, the longer people will read it and get the message. Graphic design is everywhere. We get exposed to it every day. Billboards, signs, traffic lights, posters, t-shirts, the list goes on. On average, Americans are exposed to thousands of examples of graphic design every day through advertising, television, the internet, product packaging, signage, t-shirts, and more. The average American is able to recognize a thousand corporate brands and logos. And every single graphic design that a person is exposed to on a daily basis had to be designed by someone, a person whose job it was to decide what colors to use, where to place the type, what font to use, and how it should look overall. That person is known as a graphic designer. But in order to truly understand what graphic design is, we need to see examples, lots of examples. So let's take a look. Even in this digital age in which we live, business cards are still one of the most widely used ways for people in business to share their contact information with potential customers or other business people. Movie posters have been around since the early days of filmmaking, around the 1920s or 1930s, but didn't become widely used until around the 1940s. Up until then, Movie posters were placed on easels in movie theater lobbies so moviegoers could see what movies were coming to the theater next. Vintage movie posters have become very collectible and can command thousands of dollars from movie memorabilia collectors. The main poster for a movie is called the key art and it's the primary art used for making other marketing materials created to promote a movie such as t-shirts, billboards, lunch boxes, and drink cups. All the artwork you see on these products are taken directly from the main movie poster or the key art. Saul Bass, an American graphic designer, became famous for designing movie posters for directors such as Alfred Hitchcock, Stanley Kubrick, and Martin Scorsese. He even designed his own typeface to use in his movie posters. Magazines have been around for hundreds of years in print form. Now, most magazines also have an online version due to declining readership and the cost of printing. In fact, some publishers have gone totally digital, abandoning the print versions and only offering their magazines online. Eventually, all magazines will be digital only. One of the very first magazines, the Gentleman's Magazine, founded in London in 1731, ran for almost 200 years. It was the first publication to use the term magazine. Nearly every product requires some form of packaging, and that packaging needs to have information on it. A graphic designer's task is not just to create a design that lets you know what the product is, but to create a design that makes you want to buy that product. Sometimes the actual product becomes an example of graphic design itself when graphics are printed right onto the product. This is a great way to advertise the product and to help to build brand identity with the consumer. Billboards are an effective way to deliver a message because they are relatively cheap to produce and they enforce their message through repetition. The same people see the same message every day. Digital versions have now updated the way billboards are utilized. Different messages can be seen on the same billboard and some can use animated graphics to convey their message. Even though we don't think about it, street signs are important for people to be able to navigate through cities and towns. Because most people will be reading street signs while driving, the names must be easy to read so that the font choice and color must be carefully considered. Music CDs and CD covers replaced vinyl albums about 30 years ago. They were a great way to deliver music and also have a printed insert for the song lyrics. However, many people now download their music instead of buying CDs. 
since music CDs may become obsolete soon, the music industry is trying to find new ways to market their music to the public. There's a great deal of graphic design used in video games. Game packaging, printed instructions, even the discs themselves are printed with graphic images and text. Even the games themselves need graphic designers to help design the look of the game, including color and font choices. These design choices help make the game more enjoyable and understandable. Books are one of the oldest examples of graphic design. They were created because the Romans wanted a more efficient system than using rolled up scrolls like the ancient Egyptians did. A well designed book cover can help increase sales because some people really do judge a book by its cover. When classic books like The Great Gatsby shown here get reprinted, Publishers often have graphic designers create a new cover to help give the book um, a look fresh. If you think about our definition of graphic design that we talked about at the beginning of this presentation, the exchange of information in a visual form using text, graphic images, and photographs, or a combination of these, then comics are a true example of graphic design. They tell a story with words and images. Comics have been around since the late 1930s. They first started out as a reprints, uh, reprints of comic strips that appeared in newspapers. As demand grew, publishers started to hire writers and artists to create new stories to satisfy public demand. Superman first appeared in Action Comics number 1 in 1938. He was created by two teenagers, Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster. It is believed that Jerry Siegel came up with the idea of a bulletproof hero after his father died during a robbery attempt. License plates or tags are required for every motor vehicle in the country. Because they contain lots of information, a great deal of thought must go into their design so they are easy to read and understand. Every state in the U.S. has a different license plate design but contains much of the same information. What state it's from, the actual tag number, and a graphic that represents that particular state. The t-shirt dates back as far as the Spanish-American War around 1913. After World War II, it became popular for servicemen to wear t-shirts with their uniform trousers out in public, and so other people started to do the same. But t-shirts became really popular in the 1950s when actor Marlon Brando wore one in the movie A Streetcar Named Desired. Because Brando was considered a sex symbol at the time, he made it very cool to wear t-shirts. Even watches can be a form of graphic design. A watch face uses text including numbers and images like logos to convey information visually. The Apple Watch and other smart watches have expanded on the visual information that can be displayed on a watch face. It's taken 80 years for technology to catch up with fiction. The comic strip character Dick Tracy introduced the smartwatch way back in 1931. Paper and coin currency have a great deal of information on them, not just the value, information such as the country of origin, who the Secretary of the Treasury is, and the year they were produced. Even the websites are a digital medium. The same considerations for color, fonts, images, and layout are used to create them. Every storefront or restaurant needs to have some kind of signage above their entrance. Graphic designers work with architects and industrial designers to create eye-catching marquees that help identify a business. Graphic designers play an important role in marketing movies but also are needed to help create opening and closing credits for the films themselves. There are many components to board games. Printed instructions, game board, information cards, game money, and game pieces. These all require the creativity of a graphic designer to create the look of these elements. Even everyday objects such as remote controls can be an example of graphic design. Text, shapes, color, and icons are designed 
so that the device is easy to understand and operate. And yes, even furniture can be turned into graphic design. Remember, graphic design is everywhere. We all get exposed to it every day. And if it's done well, the message that it's trying to convey will be understood quickly and clearly. Thank mm -hmm. you.